In this video, I'm gonna share tips and tricks to boost your Xbox Series S or X's speed if it's slowed down since you bought it, including the home screen. So the first thing I recommend you do is press the X button on your controller. From here, press the start button to bring up more options and refresh your dashboard. If you're ever having problems with things showing up or whatever have you, that might fix it. Now we're gonna go to the settings cogwheel and once we're here, the first thing we're gonna go to is personalization. Now I do recommend if your Xbox is running slow to not use a dynamic background as it takes up more resources, although this probably isn't the biggest deal. Now we're gonna be going to network settings. From here, we're gonna go to advanced settings and we're gonna go to alternative Mac address and I want you to clear this. When you clear this, you are going to have to restart your console, so do bear that in mind. Now, once you've done that, go back to general settings here and we're gonna go to TV and display options. So if you have a 4K resolution TV, do bear in mind that running at 4K is going to use up a lot more resources on your Xbox Series S or X. So if you're looking to speed it up a little bit and you're willing to use a lower resolution, you could go with 1080p as well as going to advanced video modes and turning on allow 4K as well as allow 50 Hertz. Next, we're going to be going back here and the next thing we're gonna be taking a look at is under system and updates. I always recommend you keep your console up to date with the latest stuff or else you're gonna start running into problems with your Xbox in general, whether it be playing games or navigating the dashboard. So make sure you have all these options selected and turned on and that your Xbox is up to date. Now we're going to go back and we're gonna to go to console info. Reset console, and I recommend you do this once in a blue moon, but do bear in mind that you're going to have to have your sign-in info for your Xbox Series S or X. Resetting your console while keeping your games and applications is essentially resetting the operating system and clearing the cache. So this is something I recommend you do maybe once or twice a year. Just make sure not to select reset and remove everything or else you're not gonna have a good time. Beyond that, those are probably some of the biggest things you could do to potentially increase the speed of your Xbox. So hopefully it was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.